Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt here again, and today I'm bringing you a second part of Tips and Tricks. And so far, I'm going to start off with a 5 a.m. fishing here, down on the good old Missouri State. Uh, so right now, I made some upgrades. I'm running a level 3 rod, level 3 reel. I just recently got promoted to level 4, and I'm about to be a level 5, because I hooked um, a trophy bass and then a trophy crappie. And, um, wow, I said that really weird. And so far, um, those seem to be the way to get mad XP. I got, I don't even know how I got that trophy bass in, and it was, it was crazy. So, anyways, the trophy bass gets you, like, about 50 XP. It was kind of crazy how much it gave you. So make sure you always hit that F11 key, so that way you can cast out further. And, uh, let's see, what do I have? I'm set up for bass. Alright, so... Oh yeah, this is my new setup. I'm running a little bit thicker line with a new rod and a new reel. I keep the spinner because I've always really liked spinners. Okay, so I'm gonna rock. So if you left click on your mouse, it's gonna bring this up. It's kind of like a little point of interest, I like to call it, of where you'd like to cast. So this kind of makes it easier. If you want white crappy, cast right about in there. If you want bass, go a little bit further, or sometimes you'll hook bluegill as well. Um, make sure you hug that side because that seems to be where they are um, give or take a little bit sometimes uh, it might be a crappy it might be a bluegill it might be a pumpkin seed you get, might get a little minute uh, mixed in there no no real catfish over here though I haven't caught any um, you want catfish you cast at the green kayak 30 feet out with cheese on and go to 99 depth <laughs> oh I'm already getting some bites here and I find that if you reel just a little bit after you get bites, like one or two feet, it like, there you see, it works out pretty good. Ooh, something, something's nice on the end of this line. There you go. That'd be nice to catch a trophy fish right on the street, uh, around the live com. Uh, so yeah, I'm telling you guys, right there seems to be the spot. And there you go. Young largemouth right out of that spot. Um... 28 pounds and then you get 6 XP for it so it's a quick way to level up and I'm gonna release him because I I kept my first one and anything that's been bigger than that so once again you're gonna right click put it right about in that spot again and throw it right there that seems to be where they are all the time I set my lead about 30 inches um, 20 30 inches seems to be pretty well look it's already getting bites again so you reel it a little bit don't you do this at like one or two feet you reel it just a little bit like makes them want it more because it's like m moving and looks like it's live I don't know it's really weird um, seems to work pretty well though so I definitely give that a try don't know if that's real for this game but it works pretty good for me in real life so so far it's worked pretty good in this game too um, uh, this fi uh, fishing simulator fishing planet it's pretty close to like the real deal man like this thing oh we got another fish on here we go. Ooh, there's another big one. Sorry if I stop talking. I'm kind of concentrating a little bit. I had a few lines break on me on some trophy bass, and I've been using worms and catching trophies. I was like, what is this? Supposedly, you're only supposed to catch them with uh, oh, another young largemouth. That's not a bad size. Look at it. 7 XP. Like, It's not that bad. It's that spot, I'm telling you. So again, we're going to right click and throw it right there, again, because pretty much it's kind of like a way to XP farm for our, all you guys that are new to the game, and I know it takes forever to fucking level up, it's really, as a game is very grindy, it's very comparable to Destiny, I hear, like, not in a gameplay sense, but like, how you play it, you have to grind, like, if you guys have ever played any games, you just have to be on that grind all the time to get new card, like, new cards, new stuff. That'd be like a Yu-Gi-Oh, um, a Madden, um, this game, yeah. <laughs> so pretty much it's very grindy. You just want to keep that in mind. And I, I saw the last tips and tricks, everyone liked it, so I figured I'd give you guys just some, some more hints. So I'm showing you right now the first two casts I've had over there, two young largemouth bats, and that's right where they are. So next, after we, we catch another fish or whatever happens here, um, we're gonna throw it right in that right white crappy spot and see if we can get one of those just to show you guys that that really does work I know I didn't really show it that too well in that last commentary, so um, I just want to really showcase it in this one and um, 
I'm not gonna touch too much on catfish in this commentary because catfish kind of have been like ass to catch lately like I, I've caught like five or six of them but like in that one spot it's just like a, such a bitch to catch them I can't I just can't explain it. I don't know why they're just fucking awful to catch. In real life, they're pretty awful to catch, too. When you catch them, it's like, ew. Oh. Here we go. Nah, this is small. Yeah, fucking bluegill. Yeah, you get bluegills over there every now and again. It's not guaranteed to always pass, but that's, like, the greatest place to catch them. All right, so we're going to right-click, go a little bit closer. Right about, I think it's right in there is where I've been catching them primarily. It's like 20, 30 feet. Yeah. I'm bringing in right about 30. Primarily, like, right there seems to be where the white crappie have been swimming. Uh, I don't know why this is. This just might be the way that the game is right now. Um, I haven't caught really anything else besides bluegill if you cast anywhere else. Uh, besides, like, catfish that are really deep. If you're ever going for catfish, always set your lead between 90 and 99. Just to let you know. And I always use cheese. I haven't had luck with pet food. So everyone's been swearing by cheese in this game so far. So rock with cheese. Oh, something's nice on this. Probably. Oh, another young largemouth. There we go. Catching some serious bass on the stream. Showing you guys. This is, that's the spot to catch bass. All right, so I'm gonna cast over here just to show you guys that it sucks casting over here. Um. Probably gonna catch like a bluegill in like two fucking seconds. It literally like bluegill just there's gotta be millions of them in here. I release them. I wish I could just like to be honest kill them or use them as live bait. Because in real life, what I do is when I catch a sunfish or I catch a like a smaller size perch or uh, white perch, what I do is I stick it on a bigger hook and I live line it and I throw it out deeper. And let me tell you, the bass the, when they stop running with it, they're gonna run with it and they're gonna stop and they're gonna turn it in its mouth and swallow it by the head. So that means they're gonna get the hook because I hook it through the head, and then they swallow it. And I can, I be honest with you guys, I've caught some pretty fucking crazy big fish in real life just off of using that. I wish I could use it in this game too, but unfortunately, this game is not real life. Oh, come on, eat it! Whatever the fuck's eating it? It's just a fucking bluegill, probably. Watch it be, yeah, there it is. Bluegill. Bluegill. There we go. So we're going to spin back over this way and cast wherever they are. I don't know if you guys ever played Sega Bass Fishing or anything. Um, Sega Bass Fishing was pretty cool. It was an older um, simulator. It used to be actually um, a box game when you went into arcades. You could play it in an arcade. Uh, they came to the Xbox 360 with it, and it was pretty cool. And I really enjoyed it. I played that for a long time until this game came out. I really saw this game. And then I started playing it like the day it came out. And I was like, this game's pretty fucking cool. Um, so far, I like, really, really enjoy it. I have no problems with it at all. Except for like the occasional lag, which is okay. I mean, it's brand new. It's free to play. Like, I'm not going to complain about that. Um, I still haven't dabbled with the DLCs yet. I know I got paid. I said I was going to do it. But I'm going to do it uh, sometime. I just don't know when. I'm really, I just bought Mutt 16 and I spent like $200 on some other stuff. So I kind of just like blew like two, $300 in the past like a uh, few hours. So I'm kind of holding off on that. Oh, there we go. There's white crappy. See? White crappy right there. But this is pretty much the hot fishing spot. If you guys are trying to catch white crappy and bass, because that seems to be where the levels are at. That, and if you go after catfish, which they don't bite that often for me, um, they might for everyone else, but like, not for me. Um, but if you do watch my catfish tutorial, that seems to be working pretty well for people. Um, there's only like 10 views on that. Uh, please check out the channel. If you guys really like the channel, if you like what I'm doing, if you like what Scott's doing, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to us. It means a lot. Um, we're not in this for the money. We're actually really in this because we enjoy it. Um, Scott and I work a lot, and um, I know we're trying to get Brad to um, get on here eventually. Um, he's just kind of in the middle. He's been doing some uh, family things and some sports things and some other things, so he's kind of been sidetracked with that stuff, which is fine. But uh, we're trying to get him on here eventually. Um, show some, some support for him. Um, but you guys are going to see, once Mutt uh, 16 comes out next week, you're going to see a bunch of fucking pack openings. I'm just letting you know that right now. I'm going to be pulling a bunch of packs. But anyways, back to this game. So... 
pretty much why I've been using for bait is definitely red worms. I'm rocking those red worms because those seem to work for me pretty well. Um, I heard bread works pretty well, but not for bass. For bass, if you really want to focus on bass, you're going to want to stick with red, red worms until you're level 5. And then you're going to get jigs and stuff like that. And I'll showcase jigs probably in my next live com of this game. Um, jigs, uh, I've heard a lot of people catching trophies with jigs, so I might I might uh, showcase that. But uh, I was talking to someone in the game earlier, and they were... Uh, talking about jigs and stuff like that and they said that they've had nothing but like trophies with jigs so if that's how it's gonna be then I might start rocking some jigs here pretty quick <laughs> and go away from the live bait but yeah Let's see if we can get this other fish on here and uh, yeah there we go uh, we'll catch oh a nice young largemouth nice Alright, so I'm going to end it here just to show you guys that there's uh, primarily some tips and tricks on how to catch a lot of largemouth and XP farm pretty much. Um, once again, I'll show you guys my inventory. I've been using size 8 hooks because that kills them, man. That's just like the thing right now. Um, I haven't heard too good about size 6 or size 10. Um, size 8 seems to be the pretty, pretty much the one to rock. Um, 0.007 line. You want some thicker line because if you're hooking one pound bass and it's gonna have a lot of fray on the line, then you're gonna want to have some uh, bigger tests. And also keep in mind when you change your test, you have to change your pole, change your re uh, reel. Um, just some things to keep in mind. Um, for lures, definitely if you're going for cats, use cheese. If you're going for bass or anything above, use red worms. Um, but yeah. Let's see anything else I got here. Show you guys. Oh yeah, um, another thing too. That old, old bobber I was using. This was like the one that I bought. Don't buy it. Stick with the regular one. That seems to work the best. I don't know why. That's just like I don't know if it's a glitch with this game or whatever, but it seems to work the best. So this has been Matt, and I'm out.